Now, if you thought that the next video you were going to see after the Ronnie Stanley one was going to be about some health news, well, you were right, technically, but it's about the lack of health. Now, we had heard yesterday that the Ravens brought in a bunch of cornerbacks that they worked out, even ended up signing one in Kevin Seymour. And a lot of people, when they first saw that report of the, the Ravens working out a bunch of corners, they were like, what? Hold up. Ain't no offensive line the one that's banged. What are we working out corners for? For what? And Jeff Zrebeck had talked about that Chris Westry was a little banged up. He was a little injured. And it when once they officially signed Kevin Seymour, even though they signed him to the practice squad, but once they signed him, that kind of let you know, like, oh, okay, so Chris Westry's probably going to be out for a little bit, but we don't know for how long. And... Then we get a report today from Jeremy Fowler letting us know exactly what's going on with number 30, Chris Westry. 6'4", speed. Now, while he did give up, again, every, every game this year, including the preseason games, every game he would give up a big play. Every single game. The three preseason games and then the week one game. But... He would also make some very big plays as well in every game, including the week one game. But anyway... Let's read the report. Says, more injury issues for the Ravens. Cornerback Chris Westry has a torn lateral meniscus. So, I'm no doctor. I am no medical expert. I am not anything in the healthcare field whatsoever. But, I know from personal experience being a Ravens fan, it almost turns you into a medical expert. Because you listen for key words. Bruised, okay, no problem. That is, that's something minor. Strained, uh, that's a little borderline. But when you hear the word torn, it's like, oh, that's never good. That is never good. Something tears, that's bad. Broken, of course, that's always terrible as well. But... Torn and broken are sort of the same type of thing. But I believe for broken, that will refer to bone. For torn, it will refer to muscles. But again, I'm no medical expert, so I could be dead wrong on both. But anyway, let's finish reading this report. So, cornerback Chris Westry has a torn lateral meniscus per source. <sighs> Westry was growing in Ravens defense and played 33 defensive snaps versus the Raiders. Now, with that part, yes, he was certainly a part of what the Ravens did, and especially with them missing Jimmy Smith. Not saying he was Jimmy Smith's replacement, but you know when they saw a 6'4 cornerback on a free agent market, even though he played for the Cowboys, and they always need corners, so we were wondering, like, wow, if he couldn't make it on the Cowboys, then something must be wrong, but... Ravens coach up corners better than the Cowboys do. That's a known fact. So we knew that Chris Westry, he had to be something special. And toward the, uh, the end of the preseason, even early on in preseason, his name was trending. Uh, early on in training camp, before the preseason even started, we kept hearing his name. Chris Westry did this. Chris Westry did that. And it was like, okay, this guy, Chris Westry, he could be something. Then in training camp and preseason, we kept hearing his name be called too. So we figured that he would make the roster, and he did make the roster. And with him playing all those defensive snaps against the Raiders, it was no surprise, uh, especially with Jimmy Smith being out. But now Chris Westry's out too. Now he's out too. And he said, oh, already without Marcus Peters, Baltimore is looking at options and exploring adding veteran Buster Scrine. Buster Scrine, I used to like him. I think he played for the Browns. I know he played for the Jets, too. Uh, I don't remember if he played for anybody else, but I remember he played for those two teams. I have not heard his name in a long time. That's not to say that he can't still play, because obviously if the Ravens are thinking about adding him, then he must still be able to play. But, again, something that I said, and, again, I never liked the Sean Wade trade, but y'all know how I felt about the Sean Wade trade. And what I said about the Sean Wade trade is happening. It's happening. Not even saying that, oh, Sean Wade, if they would have never traded him, he would have been an answer to so many Ravens problems. But what I did not like about it, and I know, and I, I still, again, I understood it. I understood why, but I still didn't like it. 
But the one of the biggest reasons why I didn't like it is because every single year, Ravens cornerback depth gets tested. It gets tested. We've lost Marcus Peters for the year. Chris Westry is going to be out for the foreseeable future. Because if, if they say anything's torn, that doesn't sound to me like a one or two week injury. But again, could be wrong, but... On this one, I really don't think we will be. I would hope to be. I wouldn't mind being wrong about it, but yeah. Anyway, um, and Jimmy Smith, he's still dealing with injury too. He is still dealing with injury too. So the cornerback depth is, is, is already being tested and being tested in a big way. Um, Jimmy Smith, I believe he did practice last week, but it was on a limited basis. And I know this week so far, I think he's still been practicing on – a limited basis. Um, so we'll see what the future holds for the game against the Kansas City Chiefs for Jimmy Smith. But we do know that we will certainly be without one Chris Westry. And he 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 was turning the corner, man. Um he came on he came on strong again toward the end of preseason or throughout preseason, really. Uh, there was just there was this consistency. Uh, with Chris Westry. Um, but it's just weird. He got to, he will make some plays. And, and it's, it's weird because, again, he will give up a big play. So I was thinking, like, okay, maybe you got to get his head turned around on a big play. But no, at the same time, on some deep passes, he will still make plays to break up those deep passes. But again, he will still give up a deep pass every game. So he just got caught slipping every game. And uh, I, now, well, now he's not even going to be playing for however long. So Ravens are down another corner. Um, but you still got Humphrey though. You still got Averett. You still got Tay Tay. So that that's 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 good. Um, but again, that that secondary depth is being tested. Certainly being tested. So we'll see how the Ravens respond. Uh, again, Kevin Seymour, he could be a game day call up. Um, and <laughs> this has just been crazy, man. All these injuries have just been crazy, and it's it's like every hour we getting just more and more and more news, man. Um, it's just it's wild. So I guess that's 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 the twenty twenty one Ravens, man. Just imagine if if they, because it's 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 only it's only been one game. Ravens are zero and one. I know it's been a lot of people acting like, oh man, they're like they're zero and sixteen. Like I mean, they're zero and seventeen or. They won in 16. Or they, people acting like it's over. It's not over. It's not. And everybody's, everybody's entitled to feel how they want to feel. If people feel like it's over, hey, that's fine. But it's not. It's not. It's li literally been one game. It's been one week. Ravens have a lot of injuries and a lot of significant injuries, but it's been one game. Give it some time. Before you call it quits, I don't care if you call it quits or not, but give it some time at least. Give it a little bit. Give it a little while. Because crazy things happen. And I know with fans, they tend to, especially after a loss, especially after a close after a close loss, after a blowout, well, after a blowout loss, it happens too. But after a close loss, a lot of fans, they, um, they're, emo they're very emotional. And I can understand that because the, the, the blowout losses, they don't hurt. They don't hurt. The close losses, those are the ones that, that are painful. Those are the ones that sting because a close, especially overtime loss too, those games could have literally went either way. In close games, they could have went either way. But in a blowout, you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's it. We lost. So it's like, yeah, we, we were going to lose. We lost uh, We lost in a big way. But a close game, it's like, oh, if, if this would have just happened, oh, if they would have just changed it, oh, if they could have just made that adjustment. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. So, team, keep it clean. I will see you all for whatever happens next. Don't know what it's going to be. Don't know when it's going to be. Don't know who it's going to be. Hopefully the next news that we get is like, oh, this guy returned to practice. He's practicing in full. This guy is healthy. Because even Dalen Hayes, he was dealing with an injury too. But he, it was something minor though. So he, he could be back this week. But we just got to see. So team, keep it clean. Keep your heads up, man. Keep your heads up. Uh, and because you know Ravens going to fight. They're going to fight. That's, that's one thing. You, you can say whatever you want to say about any player, coach, whatever, injuries, whatnot. But they're going to fight. They sure will. Um, 
<laughs> oh, they got to do a lot of extra fighting now. Cause uh, and that's that's probably what Marlon Humphrey was doing with Hunter Renfro on Monday night. <laughs> but <laughs> oh boy, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Oh goodness gracious, man. But anyway, we'll see how the rest of this thing ends up. And I will uh keep y'all posted. I know y'all keep me posted if y'all hear anything too. So y'all y'all stay up, man. I love y'all. I appreciate you. <laughs> It's, it's, it's got to stop one day, man. One day. I'm out, y'all. <laughs>